Hello techies, welcome to IT Tech Solution. Uh, so in this video, uh, we will see how we can deploy uh, multiple lambdas using the single Docker image. Uh, so I have already done a video uh, where I have explained how to set up uh, Docker desktop on Windows. You can check that video first because that is a prerequisite for this. We need to set up uh, uh, the uh, uh, a Docker desktop and then we can proceed with this. Another thing we would need would be uh, to set up uh, your um, AWS CLI on Windows because that also we would be needing here. So both the things we need uh, as a prerequisite for this uh, for performing this activity. Uh, I have done one more video uh, where I explained how we can uh, deploy a single lambda using the Docker image. Uh, so that video you can also check it will you'll get some idea on this. So now in this specific tutorial I am going to show like how we can uh, uh, deploy multiple lambdas using this single image. Uh, in real scenario what happens is uh, many times we need multiple lambdas uh, to be deployed as part of our project right. So we don't have to create multiple docker files for it it will be contained uh, all the lambdas will be contained in the same docker file and we will create image out of it and then push it to our repository from there we can then create uh, multiple lambdas so let's jump over to the project uh, description here you can see i have created two lambdas i have just named it my lambda 1 this one and the second one is my lambda 2 now in my lambda 1 i am just printing hello world from my lambda 1 and in lambda 2, I am just printing uh, hello world from my lambda 2 so that we can identify uh, when we call these lambdas. Now, if we go to the Docker file, I'll just explain uh, uh, the Docker file how it looks like. Like, just let me uncomment uh, the lines that I had commented. I'll explain and then uh, we can go over it. So, I'll just uncomment these two lines uh, and even the last line I'll just uncomment. So, we'll go from top. Uh, so, we already know, right, this is the base image that we'll be using. This is provided by AWS uh, for Lambda. So, we'll use this base image. In, the, in this base image, then we will be deploying all our required uh, files and uh, we'll uh, um, uh, run all the install commands and copy all the artifacts into the root folder of this. So the first uh, copy command, if you see this copy command, so we are copying the requirements.txt file in our task root, right? So this is the dependency that we'll be installing. So we have just mentioned that in the uh, requirements.txt file. Uh, second one, I am copying both of these lambdas again into the root of this uh, image. Okay, so two copy commands. Uh, or right instead of copying three different copy statements we can copy everything uh, in one statement like copy from dot to dot so dot in unix right it represents the root uh, folder so whatever is present in the root of this local system will be copied to the root of the image okay so everything i need a requirement file also to be copied i need my these two lambdas also to be copied into the root of this image so what i can do is i can comment these two out i don't need this because i'll be copying everything in uh, using the one single copy command okay so this is the explanation so i will just keep this one copy dot to dot so everything will be copied to the root uh, of this image next is once it is copied we'll be installing recursively all the uh, dependencies which i mentioned under the uh, requirements.txt file so once this is done we earlier we had to set this command uh, and we mentioned uh, where will be the entry point to our lambda i don't need this as well i will show uh, why we don't need this because right now we don't we have two lambdas if we in the docker file if we define entry point of this uh, maybe if my lambda name is my underscore underscore lambda underscore one dot handler if i give this right what will happen is uh, what will happen is uh, it will try and set it will set the entry point to my lambda one dot handler so when once we create a, a lambda using this file every time it will be pointing to this will not be able to trigger the lambda two because our docker file image will say entry point is this 
so every time even if we create two lambdas it will be triggering only the first lambda it will now never trigger the second lambda so that is why i don't need this we have a concept where we need to override override this entry point while creating the lambda so here we will not mention any entry point so i'll just uh, comment this out let's save this now our first step right uh, first step is to build this docker image so let's uh, build this docker image uh, if you see my previous videos uh, where i have explained this uh, uh, creating lambda using docker file you'll see uh, the same steps i have used there so those steps will be again same here only the way we will create the lambda will be different here so this is the build command i am building uh, my uh, image on platform linux and then uh, the docker image name i'm just giving test and then just build this uh, image so it will take some time uh, once it gets built we can perform the uh, next steps all right so uh, as you can see the deployment is now complete the build build is complete uh, once the build is complete we will go to the next step so now next step is uh, to create uh, uh, the uh, repository and before creating the repository we need to get uh, connected to the uh, AWS uh, ECR okay and to get it uh, connected right we just need to authenticate uh, uh, authenticate uh, the AWS connection so before this you need to again set up your uh, uh, CLI AWS CLI and then execute this command it will authenticate uh, the connection with the AWS and it will give us a response that login succeeded. So we'll just wait uh, once it gets connected, uh, we can then proceed to the next steps. All right, so now uh, the login succeeded. Uh, it was able to connect and authenticate to AWS. And if we just check now Docker also, uh, we'll see that our image is already created. Uh, when once we build the image uh, we we see this uh, created locally now the next step is this local uh, image we need to tag uh, tag it to our repository so the third step would be uh, we would need uh, to connect uh, to create a repository first so let's just create the repository uh, you can do uh, you can create a repository via console as well from AWS console directly or we can run this command as well to create that repository so now since login is already succeeded we have already authenticated we'll just uh, issue this uh, create a repository command and we will give the default parameters just we'll we are giving the name as hello world uh, to the repository and we'll create it so once it's it's created it will throw us back the response that it's it, it created uh, successfully and also it will show us the uh, repository AR and as you can see repository is already created here and uh, we can even now log into uh, AWS and check whether this repository is created or not. So all right I am into my AWS account we will go to elastic container registry. Uh, here we will be able to see the repository we will go to the repositories and here you can see hello world repository got created just now if we go into this we will not see any image right now because we haven't pushed any image okay so next step we will then uh, tag that uh, local image that we have created to our um, uh, AWS image where we want to push it so now we will issue this command let me just clear the terminal now I'll issue this command so it will be tagging uh, the local image to my Amazon AWS cloud to hello world repository with a tag of latest. So now that is tagged if you see in the local it will be coming here you can see this is my account ID uh, AWS account ID and it's in US East one so it is now tagged to my repository. Now simply the third the last step would be to just push this uh, docker image to the one which we have tagged it but do remember to change uh, the account id to your respective account id now once we push this command it will start preparing and pushing the artifacts to the repository so this would take uh, some time depending on the internet speed connection so we'll just wait uh, to 
uh, it to get completed once that is complete we'll go ahead to the last step to create lambda and see how we can create the uh, multiple lambdas out of this single image all right uh, so now as you can see uh, the image has been pushed uh, to ECR uh, we can just check in our AWS uh, console and see if uh, this image has been pushed successfully or not we can just verify it once so we'll go again back to our uh, ECR uh, and then we'll check for the image so I am into my ECR and I'll go to my repositories and in my repository that we have created hello world uh, we'll see that latest image is now has been pushed here now comes the last step where we will create lambdas now we want to create two lambdas right so in our image already we have uh, uh, installed or we have copied the two lambdas we just need to set the proper uh, entry points for it while creating the lambda now let me just tell you uh, i am just creating this lambda using console uh, in real projects again uh, this entire process is done via uh, codes uh, terraform code and cdk code maybe e either of one uh, so the same thing can be done using uh, uh, terraform code we just need to know which um, parameter we need to pass this value from okay so it may be in cdk there might be some parameter but there will be some, there is definitely one parameter where we have to set the um, or override uh, the entry point so we'll go to container image okay i'll name my lambda as my first lambda okay and then from uh, i want to create it from my image so i'll just browse through my repository hello world repository and this is the image that i have now this image already has uh, my uh, first lambda okay so we have to carefully uh, point our entry point to that particular lambda so in cmd we will go and uh, set up uh, my underscore lambda underscore one right so my underscore lambda underscore one this is my first lambda dot handler okay so my underscore lambda underscore one dot handler so this is my first entry point okay since now you remember we did not uh, set this command uh, here in my docker file that is was on purpose because I want to override it in uh, while creating this lambda so now uh, the first lambda has this handler it will be pointing to that let us leave everything as it is and just create this lambda once this lambda is created we'll create a second lambda and we will set this uh, uh, handler accordingly there as well so we'll go to again uh, to functions and to create another function and then from image I'll give this name as my second lambda okay this is my second lambda I want to create it from the image I'll select my repository and then select my image that we have pushed now this image contains the second uh, lambda as well I'll have to set that up here so my second lambda name is my underscore lambda underscore 2 I will give my lambda to dot its handler is again name with handler so my lambda to dot handler I'll create this function all right so once this uh, these two lambdas are created we'll just trigger it and we'll see uh, whether I'm getting the proper output from them or not so let's go to function this is my first lambda okay and I'll open the second lambda as well okay so first lambda we'll just try to test it out we'll just try to trigger it so i will go to my test tab here i'll just create a test event to trigger this so yeah so trigger is already done uh, you can see it is from my lambda one okay and in my second lambda uh, i can go to the second lambda again in my second lambda i can go to test and test it out with the default uh, uh, input and then you will see hello from my second lambda now you can see both these lambdas 
are basically triggering the two lambdas that we had defined in our project so and we have used a single image so using a single image we can trigger the multiple lambdas in this way again i am mentioning this while creating this lambda there may be a possibilities that uh, in our project we will be creating uh, all these uh, resources using terraform or maybe cdk so in terraform as well as in cdk we have to give the override okay we have to give the override parameter and uh, the respective uh, lambda handler we have to mention there okay and that cmd override we can see in our console as well so for first lambda if you see uh, uh, this uh, image right and the cmd override we have given is my lambda one dot handler and in my second lambda i have given it as my lambda two dot handler so this way it will identify the respective lambda and then it will trigger it so yeah that's it i hope uh, you liked this video and it was useful for you uh, if so please subscribe to this channel so that um, i can you can uh, get some more informative videos like this until then bye bye